Hi, this is Nader Moynfair, and this video is of a patient that has a condition referred to as proliferative diabetic retinopathy. The patient has had some blood in the eye called the vitreous hemorrhage, which I've already removed, and has a shallow traction retinal detachment, which has already been addressed. What I'm doing now is a procedure called an air fluid exchange. You may have noticed the air bubbles going in and that replaces the saline fluid that I am aspirating out. The reason for doing this is several. One, it allows for a better view of the retinal periphery allowing for more extensive laser and also it helps control any bleeding as well. So in a moment you'll see me exchanging one instrument for another instrument which is the uh, laser probe. Uh, this laser probe is attached to a laser machine that delivers uh, laser spots to the retina which you will see as um, green lights that leave a white spot on the retina. This is called a laser treatment of the retina and each flashing green light is a laser spot and we try to basically treat as much of the retina as uh, possible. Um, also during this case you will see something called scleral depression which is when an assistant gently indents the periphery of the retina allowing for the surgeon to apply retin excuse me apply laser to the far retinal periphery after this is done the procedure is essentially completed this is a microincisional surgery so the cannulas are removed and inspected for any uh, leakage from the wounds. Typically there is not any and antibiotics are administered and uh, that really wraps up the uh, surgery. Hope you found this helpful. Thank you very much for watching.